The whole inspiration for this video was I was working on one of my uh, massive multi-year Opus Magnum projects and I reached a point where I had a uh, list of collections and I wanted to sort it on just one of the fields in the collection and I suddenly realized I had no idea how to do that and I was thinking if it were a database in SQL I could do that with an SQL statement really easily and that made me think of LINK the language integrated query sort of subsystem of C sharp which is uh, I've done two videos on it in the past but it didn't really work with what I've done in the past so I had to do a lot of research on it and the information in this video largely comes from that research is largely from Microsoft white papers uh, both the information and the code snippets I'm going to show to illustrate the information well the first question you might ask is what is a query since we're talking about SQL structured query language <clears throat> and basically a query is an expression that retrieves data from a data source and it not only retrieves it, it organizes it, it selects specific subsets of it, you know, it'll order it by different criteria and so on. And link or L-I-N-Q, I'm not sure whether people actually pronounce it link, it stands for Language Integrated Query. And it's a subsystem built into C Sharp and another other languages that allows you to do queries on a lot of different types of data sources. These data sources include XML, SQL databases, ADO.NET datasets, .NET collections, which is what I really want to look at, and any other format of link provider that is available. And if you want to know the definition of a provider, you might go to the website, my website, and click on the cinema and the index button and look up provider because I've done a couple videos talking about data providers and basically the three parts of a link query are one to obtain the data source two to create the query and three to execute the query and a code snippet illustrating this is here where the first part is in this case uh, an array of integers the second part is the query correction uh, creation which is basically the var num query uh, equals from num in numbers where parent num modulo 2 is equal to 0 and then it does a select num and if you're familiar with SQL you know this is basically an SQL statement but with the clauses out of order the select should be first instead of coming at the end in a normal SQL statement and then finally the third part we do the query execution with a for each and that has uh, what's called a range variable in the int num and then it says n and then we use our query variable that we created up here as where it's getting the numbers from and basically since this is saying num modulo 2 equals 0 what it's going to do is get all the even numbers from uh, this array and then print them out with this console print statement so we see in this example we have a query that is stored in a query variable and initialized in a query expression where here the query variable is num query and then the query expression is the rest of this statement here there are two types of uh, execution with link you can either have deferred execution which is what we we're just looking at or you can have immediate execution and the interesting thing about deferred execution is if we were dealing with a database rather than an array we could run that uh, query statement with the for each and we get a set of data and then if the database were changing we could run it again and we get a different set of data because the query isn't applied until you actually do the for each statement. It's just sort of a template saying what data you want to get. 
but with immediate execution, it's immediately uh, uh, executed and stored in a cache. So uh, examples of immediate execution are uh, this uh, list int array of collections uh, with a to list at the end, which says do an immediate execution. And you also can use a to array to do an immediate execution. And the var key keyword, which we've seen a few other times in a few different situations, is basically a undefined type, which gets defined by the compiler at the time it's run. So the var keyword instructs the compiler to infer the type of query variable by looking at the data source specified in the from clause and then making the query a variable the same type. And there's two types of uh, of link syntax. Query syntax, which is basically what we've been looking at so far, and method syntax. And method syntax is what I really needed to solve the problem I was talking about at the beginning, where I needed to sort a, a collection on one field. So the method syntax, you basically have a lambda expression that is passed as an inline argument to the standard query operator. And here we get into the actual test program I wrote in order to uh, test the use of sorting by one field within an array of collections. This isn't actually the array of collections I used in the program, but I used it in the test program. And it basically consists of uh, four fields, name, number of files, dir size, and space available. The reason I used this is I used it in a previous video. And I filled this in with data using the uh, new dir info and a list of dir info type. And here the data is specified with what I've heard ca called lambda notation also, which is the keyword and the uh, uh, value. So we have name equals Robin, number of files equals 400, and so on to fill in each of these new uh, dir infos within the initialization list. And then you can also add to this uh, type of array of collections using the uh, add method. So I can do cur dir info dot add and then do a new dir info and use the same kind of format to create it at runtime. But here we get into the uh, method syntax for the uh, link. I was talking about previously. I say cur info equals cur info dot order by, where order by is a standard query uh, method. And I pass the lambda expression here, which is x equal greater sign x dot name. And the equal greater sign is what's known as the lambda operator. And a, a lambda is essentially a function. It's an anonymous function that returns a value, and this value can be any kind of expression. In this case, it's just selecting a single field within the collection, which is the name field. And once again, you see I have the to list method at the end, which says execute this immediately. Don't make it a deferred execution. So if we run this and press the display list button, you see the the first group of data is just printed out in the order that I put it in without any uh, link involved. And in the second one, we have the link expression that just has the dot order by and then x goes to x dot name. So it basically sorts all of these by name, which is shown here, Barney, then Lily, then Marshall, then Robin, then Ted. But there's no other sorting involved. But you can stack up these uh, standard query methods. So I have an order by followed by a dot then by. So in the dot then by, I say y goes to y dot number of files. 
So in this case, we have Barney and then we have the number of files in the correct order, and Lily and the number of files in the correct order, and so on. And then in the final uh, query, I say uh, where. I use the where standard query and uh, or standard query method, and I say x goes to x dot name equal quotation mark Barney and then the two list for immediate execution and the output of this is just the two Barney records so this is basically how I solved my problem using the uh, method uh, syntax of link well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe